Hey, it's Chrissy Ravella and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be working on my first Try It Tuesday where we're going to be trying a recipe for vegan chicken enchiladas verde. Now this recipe is not originally vegan. I found it on the New York Times under chicken enchilada with salsa verde. But of course we're going to vegan it up by using a vegan chicken substitute. We're also going to use a pre-made salsa verde, which is going to cut this from, as it says, one hour down to significantly less time than that. So basically it only has to go into the oven for 15 minutes and then it's however fast you can chop your vegetables. So I'm pretty excited. I've never made any enchiladas before, so I hope it's good. All right, let's get cooking. We're going to need chicken salt, onion and garlic, some tortillas, olive oil, salsa verde, vegan sour cream, and some vegan cheese. I'm gonna set my burner to medium high and while I'm at it, I'll preheat my oven to bake at 375 degrees. My onion and garlic are sauteing in the pan now I'm going to add a little bit of water just to keep my garlic from burning. Once those are golden and translucent, I'll go ahead and add my vegan chicken. The best part is that you just have to heat it up. And I'll season that with salt. While that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and warm my tortillas so that they'll be pliable when I need to roll them up. Once the oil is hot, I'm going to put these tortillas in for about 10 seconds per side. And then I'll transfer them to a wire rack to cool. Next, I'll get my pan ready by putting some salsa verde in the bottom and spreading it into a thin layer. Now I'll fill each one with some of my chicken and I'll wrap that up nice and tightly. And then I'll put it into the pan seam down so that it doesn't come unrolled. Once I get all three of them into the pan, I'm ready to continue layering. I'll put another layer of my inch of my salsa verde. And I'll top it off with some vegan cheese. Right now I'm just using mozzarella because that's all I have on hand. But a pepper jack would actually be awesome on this. I'm going to go to my kitchen timer and set it for 15 minutes just so that I don't forget what I'm doing and then I'll pop these babies into the oven. While I'm cooking the enchiladas, I'm going to whip up a quick side salad to go with it. I'm going to use some fresh romaine lettuce and I'll just shred that finely. And then I'm also going to add some other Mexican inspired ingredients like my avocado, tomato, lime juice, and some seasoning. Actually, avocados are one of my favorite foods and I read that you actually get more benefits of the nutrients of each of them when you consume them together. I'm only going to use half of my avocado and I always dice it into small pieces in the shell and then just scoop it out with a spoon. I'm going to use 
quite a bit of lime juice like I would if I was making guacamole. And for my seasonings, I'm going to do some salt. Of course, some garlic, because that's one of my favorite foods. And some freshly ground black pepper to top it all off. I'll mix that up and let's go check on our enchiladas. I'm checking to see if that cheese browned at all. It's not very brown, but it does look like it's well cooked. We'll plate that up. The recipe calls for some chopped onion as a garnish, but I prefer this fresh cilantro from my garden. And it looks beautiful. All right, this creation is finally all done and it's time to taste it. So I've let it cool for a couple minutes just to make sure that I don't burn myself. I have a fork just in case, but I think I'm just going to try to eat it like a burrito. So we'll see how it goes. Mmm. These are so good. If anything, I would have left them in a little bit longer to try to get a crunchiness and maybe some browning on the cheese. But it does depend on what vegan cheese you use because sometimes they just don't brown no matter what you do. Um, but the flavors are delicious. My little salad that I made to go with it. Just a dressing of seasoning and lime. We'll see how it turned out. very fresh and light definitely complements the density of the corn tortilla and the cheese and the meat so i would give this recipe an a plus this plate is basically demolished so i think it's safe to say that i give this recipe two dirty thumbs up looking back i probably should have doubled that recipe because my husband probably would have ate that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button so you can see all of my future recipe ideas.